Okay. Um, so let's rate these. So first of all, we've got the rocket. I'm gonna give that an A, I think. It's incredibly useful. It sounds good. I've had multiple reasons to use it. Also, oh yeah, I should probably specify, I'm looking at multiple different factors when making this tier list. Um, obviously usefulness is important. How often I've managed to use it is like a bit a minor factor, but I'm not gonna like do that because otherwise we constantly have violins and flutes in S tier and stuff. So like that's how I'm going about with this. Okay, <laughs> next up is the baby face. Oh god, people are gonna murder me for this. I'm gonna have to put the baby face in F tier. I just don't have a purpose for it. It's funny, but it sounds weird. <laughs> And I just can't make it work in songs. Next we've got the bugs. That's also an F tier, but it's lower than Babyface because it just... At least with Babyface I can use it for something funny. With the bugs I can't do that. Like, what do I do with the bugs? <laughs> okay, uh, next is the doggo. The dog is actually a solid instrument. However, I'm gonna put it in C tier. No, I'll put it in D. It's going to be in D tier because the barks, most of the barks are very good. But these higher ones, these higher ones are just, they're just not great. And it's hard to make a song when there's not enough dog instruments. Like the, the scale for DIY's um, notes is already low. The dog just makes it lower. Next is Soul Girl. Not my favourite voice type instrument, to be honest. Actually, I'm gonna put the dog in C and Soul Girl in D because with the dog, you kind of have a bit more control of what it sounds like, even though it's limited. With Soul Girl, it just, the lower notes just sound very weird. The higher ones are okay, but you just have less control with Soul Girl than you do with the dog. Okay, the next instrument is the banjo. There are a lot of circumstances where the banjo is useful. It's good. Um, so I'm gonna make it my first B tier. It's good for chords. It's okay for chords. It's a bit weird when it comes to chords, but they work. As long as you don't layer more than two or three of them at a time, depending on the pitch. But for the most part, the banjo's great. It's also good for main melodies when you need something a bit more boingy and tangy. Next up, we've got Flashel! Is Yoshi a person or an animal? Oh, Yoshi's an animal, okay. It's cute, but there's really no use for it. So I'm gonna put it in F. Actually, I might put Babyface in E. Yeah, Babyface should go in E tier because I'm just realizing it could be, it's not useful. It's kind of useless, but it can at least be used for humor. Whereas the bugs and the Yoshi can't be used for humor. So I think that's how I'm gonna do it. Like. S tier is like amazing, A tier is like very useful, B tier is like useful but not like A tier level useful. C is it's like, oh it has its purposes, D is like, ew, not that many purposes but it does. Oh yeah baby, yeah, the baby face is moving up in the world. C it's like, it has purpose but not a lot, but it has more than the other lower tiers. D it's like, it has purpose, it just needs more control. E is like, it's useless, but has, it's funny. And then F is just useless. So that's how I'm gonna go about this. So next up is the electric guitar. Very good instrument. I love using it in things. My only gripe is that it's a very harsh instrument. So I use it more for chords or if I'm doing a proper rock song. But other than that, it's not very easy to implement it into a song. So with that, I'm gonna probably put it in... But do I think it's level to the banjo? But like, see, I don't think the banjo deserves A tier, but I don't think the electric guitar deserves C tier. Or lower. No, I'll keep it there. The banjo is a B tier. Great for chords. No, yeah, I think the electric guitar and the banjo kind of go hand in hand, except they have an opposite problem, where like, the banjo isn't the best for me melodies, but the electric guitar isn't the... No, the, ele the banjo isn't great for chords, the electric guitar isn't great for me melodies. 
Yeah, that's what I meant to say. So yeah, I would say the electric guitar is a B tier. Next we've got, oh my god, I'm excited for this one, the Do Re Mi voice. And this one is my first S tier. Just right off the bat. The Do Re Mi voice is S tier, simply because it's one of the cleanest voices in the game. It Plus, if you do Friday Night Funkin' music, you're pretty much set because it sounds exactly like Boyfriend. Um, there's a reason that the Do Re Mi voice is my main singer in Penny's theme. It's the best feminine sounding voice because Soul Girl definitely doesn't fit that role well enough for my standards. Uh, next is the Fire Flower. Since we're getting to the 8-bit instruments, I'm going to preface I'm not calling them by their in-game names because Ting Ting sounds just very weird. I'm not doing that. It's the Fire Flower. Uh, the Fire Flower is a... Yeah, the Fire Flower's an A tier, I think. No, Fire Flower's an S tier because... If you put the if you put the fire flower with the Mario hat, you can make some pretty good chords if you hide it well enough. Not to mention, it's really good for music box type songs if you want to still continue with the eight bit style. So, fire flower is an S tier. There's not really much wrong with it. Even the lower fire flower notes are pretty cute. Next, we got the piano. The piano is the default. When Baby Yoshi gets outclassed by a flower. <laughs> Yep, pretty much. But yeah, the piano. The piano is the default. Um, there's a reason why it's the default instrument. It's good for chords, good for me and melody, okay for bass if you're low enough. It's a pretty solid instrument and because of that it's going in A tier. Piano's pog. I just don't use it often because it's default and in my head default is bad in music. I don't know why. I do try to use it more these days though. But I love the piano. How many songs have you used Baby Yoshi in? None. <laughs> There's a reason though. I do, and it's not like I'm saying that because, and I'm not putting Yoshi in the lowest um, rating because I haven't used him. I'm putting him in the lowest rating because I have tried multiple occasions to use him and it just doesn't work. Like there's just barely any opportunities to use him. Yeah, Yoshi's just not versatile. <laughs> uh, next up is the alien. The first thing that came to mind when I chose this alien, uh, when, when I choose this alien, is my cover of Shifty Sticker. I think with that in mind, the alien is gonna be in C. It's kind of got the same, like, usefulness as the dog. In fact, I would say it's slightly more useful than the dog, simply because the dog does change if it's high enough. But yeah, Alien is a high C for me. Yoshi is not versatile. People who throw Yoshi off a cliff. Are you sure about that? Okay, next is the frog. Now, before I would have probably put the frog in F tier. But there's one thing stopping me from doing that. And it's in Tabby Village. Yep. So, with that in mind, I'm not making it an F tier. It's joining the baby face. In E. It's higher than baby face because I actually did find a purpose for it, but it's gonna be an E tier. <laughs> Next we've got the cat. First of all, it gets points for nostalgia. <laughs> the frog's got a niche. Yeah, the, the frog is useful. The frog's got a niche. And it's me. <laughs> but yeah, next is the cat. Uh, the cat gets bonus points for being a Mario Paint reference because we need more of those in our lives. I'd put the cat in B tier, to be honest, because sure, the cat and the dog are the same, except obviously different animals, but the cat doesn't have the disadvantage that the dog has where it makes a different sound higher in the scale. So the cat is going to be in B tier for that reason. 
Plus, it reminds me of M.I.L.F. from uh, Friday Night Funkin', my cover of that. So it gets a point for that. Uh, next up is the guitar. The guitar is another really versatile instrument. I would say if I if there's opportunities where I don't want to use the piano, I end up using the guitar. So for that reason, the guitar is in A tier. The guitar is a solid A tier instrument. You could use it with chords, you could use it as a main melody, you can use it as a background instrument. The guitar is a very versatile instrument, so with that, it's gonna be in A tier. Next. Oh, Jesus, next. <laughs> the f Laughing Men. Why are you called Laughing Men? First of all, it's literally a fox. Why is it a fox? That's disgusting. They couldn't have, like, a very happy man or something. Maybe it's because it's a fox. Second of all, it's not an instrument. It's people laughing. Having laughter an instrument. Like, that's a, like, that's sure, because it's here for the natives, it's an instrument. But the internet can never prove that laughing is an instrument. Um, okay, I'm being dramatic right now. Fox. It's literally worse than Yoshi. It's an F tier. I'm being extremely dramatic about man being tickled, but instrument-wise, it's F. It's literally the worst instrument. On a happier note, though, next is the Yoshi Egg. Uh, the Yoshi Egg is a B tier, I think. Mm, wait, hmm. I don't know if it's a high C or a low B. I would say it's a low B. Yeah, I'll put the egg in low B. Because it kind of has a similar issue to the banjo, where it's good in melodies, and it's really good in the background. Like, it could be good as a bass instrument, like a ba like the um, bass guitar, which we haven't got to yet, but it's really good for that. But it's not great for chords, unless you want to do something incredibly harsh. And even then, you can't really do much with that. So, for that reason, it's going to be in B. Next, we've got the piggy. See, if this was Mario Paint, I would actually rate the pig, like, higher, because the pig is really good for clapping in Mario Paint. But the skill of the pig in DIY, I can't really use that for clapping. And even if I wanted to, there's already a clapping instrument right here. So it's pretty useless in DIY. So for that reason, actually, no. Okay. I would say the pig is with Soul Girl. I would say, yeah, yeah, the pig's a D, because it it probably has purpose, but it's just very weird to use. Like, it's not a bad instrument, it sounds cool, but there's a lack of control of it. So with that, the pig is in D tier. Okay, next is, that looks like a clown, but it's not a clown, it's a burb. I don't know why this is an instrument, it kind of has... I was gonna say it has feet syndrome. No, it does not. It's got a similar issue to the dog, except it's not versatile to begin with. So the bird is gonna be in F tier. Yes, I said feet syndrome. Uh, okay, you missed it earlier. So the feet, so the feet is an instrument in Mario DIY, and it's basically a man being tickled. So when you play it, it's just creepy laughter. Hold on, I'll like show you. But yeah, the birds are in F tier because it's just not easy to use. Could be useful somewhere, but not anywhere I could think of whenever I play the game. Alright, next is the UFO. Oh, I'm so excited for the UFO. This is the UFO. The UFO is going to be the second S tier. I mean, the third S tier. And I would put it over the flower. 
UFO is great because it kind of like, if you don't want to use the flute or the pan flute or any other instrument that kind of lasts long, then you've got the UFO. The UFO is great because it's higher pitched as well. So with that, I'm going to put that in S tier alongside the Do Re Mi person and the Fire Flower. Next up, Violin. No, the Violin is... I would definitely say the Violin is an A tier. Not as good as the Rocket or the Guitar, but I would say it's better than the Piano. Um, it's good for chords, great for mere melodies. It could do good bass if you make it quiet enough. And uh, it's good to layer on other, other instruments as well. Violin, if you layer a violin on a flute or the blooper that we'll see later, it's really good. So with that, I'm going to put that in A tier. Um, next up, we got a star drop. And no, this is not Stardew Valley. Uh, we're not going to get more energy from this one. The star drop is very weird. I have made the star drop work. But the problem with the star drop is whenever you like tap on one note, it has that ongoing echo, which, which makes it really difficult to do anything. If you put multiple of them next to each other, you can barely hear the like echo. So you can make it work. If you use it right, you can make it so that it doesn't echo, but it's very like based on circumstances. So with that, I'm going to put it in C. But I'll make it a high C because it's really good for if you need really high notes in a pinch. Next is the pan flute. I wanted to like the pan flute. I was thinking about all the amazing like spirit track songs I could make work in with this pan flute. But I wish they just yoinked the pan flute song from, from spirit tracks. It's so much nicer than this one. This one's terrible. With that in mind, I mean... I will say that it does have its purposes. There's at least that. So with that, I'm going to put it in C tier, but it's going to be a very high C because I know I have used it on occasion and it has worked on occasion. And if I, you know, actually got the hang of the sound of it, I could make it work in at least some spirit track songs. But for now, it's literally in C. Next up is the green shell. If I knew how to roll my R's, I would go green while rolling it, but I can't. Green Shell, A tier for sure. And it's like a higher A tier. Good for chords, good for melody, good for bass when you need it. Good for like, a kind of like echo, especially if you put it on top of a, like some other instruments. I don't need to say more about the Green Shell, it's just good. So that one's an A tier for me. Alright, next is the organ. Um... I've heard a lot of the organ because I'm making dancing mad and that's very organ based. The organ is... Hmm. So I would say the organ's a B. But like a really high B. Because it's good for chords, it's good for me melody. And it's just really fun to use. But it wouldn't be great for bass. Plus, when you try to layer more than three of them on top of each other, it sounds too harsh. Which is why I'm putting it in high B, because it like ticks all the boxes to be an A. Except for that one problem. So, with that, I'm putting it in B. Okay, next one is the sax. I'm gonna say right now, uh, the saxophone and the trumpet are like the yin to each other's yang. The trumpet and the saxophone, like... They are beautiful. Obviously, I'm not gonna, like, put them both in the same tier just because they're good. But the saxophone is in A. It's a good A tier. It's great for me melodies. Slightly better for me melodies than violin. It's great for chords. It's great for... It's okay for bass if you go low enough. And you can layer it on top of multiple instruments and it will sound really pretty. So the saxophone's an A, and speaking of the trumpet, I'm going to put that in really... I'm going to put it in low A next to the piano. Because, like I said, the saxophone and the trumpet are like the yin to each other's yang. 
with the saxophone where you get like long instruments. The trumpet gives you short instruments that are somewhat similar to the sound of the saxophone. So when you're making songs, they both kind of go hand in hand for when you need notes that kind of stop and start at different times. So that's why they're both in A, but like at slightly different points. The trumpet does have a few setbacks more than the saxophone. Next up is the bass guitar. I would say is it's a B, but it's a high B. Like I would put it below the organ, but above everything else, because the bass guitar fits all the boxes to be an A, except for main melody. It's good for it's okay for chords. Like you could have two or three going at once, and it would be okay. Three might be pushing it, but you could have two going, and it'd be fine. It's good for it's obviously really good for bass because it's literally a bass guitar. So like, yeah, the bass would only go in a high B. Um, next up is the harpsichord. The harpsichord is usually my replacement for the electric guitar when I don't, when I'm not going like hard rock in my song, but I still want to have like a rock effect. So with that in mind, it's going to be an A tier. Okay, it's less useful than the piano, but it's really good. It's decent for chords as well. You can do it for you can use it for background stuff if you're low enough as well. So I think that's an A tier in terms of um, use and sound and stuff. It can be a bit grainy for some people, but I personally really like it. Next is the melodica. The melodica is an S tier. It's really good when you need, whether you need just a melodica or you need something else like an accordion or a harmonica or even like maybe something that sounds similar to an automaton, the, the melodica does that for you. Like you're pretty much set with a melodica and it mixes well with other instruments. I am quite partial personally to the melodica with the blooper or the melodica with the saxophone. Or even with the violin sometimes. Just the melodic is versatile and it's good. It's okay for chords as well if you only play two of them. And then it's alright for bass if you need like a really long bass note. As long as it's like kind of lower pitched for me personally. But yeah, I would definitely say the melodic is in S tier. Next is the flute. Um, I would also say the flute. I'd say the flute's in S tier as well. I would put it slightly above harmo uh, melodica because like they both share different purposes. They both have a similar purpose. Or actually no, I'm gonna put the flute lower than melodica because they have similar- they have the exact same purposes except obviously different sound. There are different alternatives to the flute in DIY but there aren't any to the melodica. If not, there's- if there are, there really aren't that many. With that in mind, that's also an S tier, but it's slightly lower than Melodica. We're getting to a lot of the really good ones, because next is the Marimba. Marimba, also an S tier. It goes hand in hand with the Fire Flower. The only difference is one is chiptune and the other one isn't. Uh, the, the Marimba is really good for music box type songs. Like, anytime I need, like a music box or a really high note that doesn't like linger for too long. I go with the marimba. I also sometimes use it if I need a higher note on the piano, which makes it really useful. Not to mention it's good for bass, it's good for chords, it's great for main melody. Um, the marimba's an S tier and no one could stop me. Next up is the mushroom. Why did I say mushroom like that? Mushroom dance, mushroom dance, whatever could it mean? It means you lived a life of potatoes. Okay, I don't know. That's a high A. Wait, hmm. Yeah, I would say the mushroom's a high... No, it's a high A. Yeah, higher A, but it's lower than the green shell. Because it's okay for me melody. It's good for chords. And it's obviously really good for like kind of bass background notes. I like it, especially layered on top of other chiptune instruments. My only gripe with it is it 
it's not the best for me melody but honestly i don't reach towards a mushroom for me melody anyway unless i'm doing a an 8-bit exclusive song where i need like a lower melody and in those cases it's useful so i'm gonna put it in high a next is the robot i think the robot is a b the robot is good for bass notes and it's really good for melody if you need like a plinky plonky um, melody for something more futuristic this is a good one it's just not the best with chords like i haven't tried many chords with it but it seems like the type of instrument where it's like oh yeah it's great for me melody and bass but like you could you wouldn't be able to have it often as a chord so Plus it sounds really good for certain instruments where you just need a more subtle bass. So that's why I'm putting it in a B tier. Okie dokie. Next up is Opera Man. Okay, Opera Man, when it comes to having another voice, he is the best male voice. Besides the humming. So for that reason, I'm putting him in S tier as well. But the reason why Opera Man is at the top is because he's literally the shopkeeper from Krypton and Echo Dancer. See, it's literally Opera Man! <laughs> so, and that makes me want to do more Krypton and Echo Dancer songs. Because I really need to do some. Because people... I didn't know so many people liked the games. <laughs> so, for that reason, it's S tier. Next we got Monkey. Um, Monkey has similar issues to... The bird and the feet. And the tickle, I mean. It has a similar issue to the dog. Where it, like, alternates between two different... Signs, which is always a disadvantage because then you have less of one instrument in favor of like technically another where it's the same label But you know what I mean But it's less versatile than the dog So I'm gonna put it in F tier, but I feel like it's above the birds and the tickling because it has potential and Actually, I'm probably gonna put the bugs the insects behind Yoshi Simply because Yoshi could be used for some sort of Mario song. And next up is the humming. This one's a this is an A tier. Um, but I would like put it in like mid to high. Yeah, I'll put it here. It's like a solid A tier. The, the thing with the humming is it, it's a really good voice for vocal songs most of the time. Sometimes it gets a bit iffy when it's lower, but it is a solid voice type thing. A, a voice sound for songs. Not as good as Opera Man and Do Re Mi person, but solid. A tier. Next we have the fist. Now I'm gonna put this in C tier. And people are probably thinking why the hell are you putting it in C tier? It has more purposes than you realize. I'm going to show you one. Ha! Yes, that's why I put it in C tier. Because it let me do that. And it be effective. <laughs> because you can't have that song without the ha. The ha and I also used it in Ninja Hideaway. Um, MILF from Friday Night Funkin'. It's good when you need someone yelling. So it's in a high C. I'm tempted to put it in low B actually as well, but nah, okay. Its purposes are limited, but it's, but the purposes it does have are really good. I'm gonna keep it in high C. The timpani. No, the timpani. I'm automatically putting the timpani in high B because the thing with the timpani is it wouldn't be great for a mu melody by itself, and it's useless at chords. But if you need a drum bass, or you need any sort of drum that has any sort of pitch control, then this is literally one of your only options. Like, you're going to- you don't need- 
It's literally the only thing for its purpose, and it does its purpose well. So I'm putting it in B for that reason. Next is the Mario hat. And now we're getting into more of the high A S territory. Now, like I mentioned to, uh, like I mentioned to Ben about earlier, the flower, the green shell, the blue shell, and the Mario hat, and possibly some of the other instruments too, are all basically the same instrument but on different octaves. Most of them pretty much work hand in hand together. So with that, the Mario hat is also going to be in S tier. It has slightly less purposes than the flower, because the flower has the advantage of being really good for music box type songs, but the Mario hat is still a really solid instrument. Next, we've got the blue shell. Now, I put the mushroom in A tier, but I'm going to put the blue shell in B tier. Which sounds shocking. Or no, I'm gonna put it in... Mm, I'm actually... No, I'm gonna put it in B tier next to the... Bass. Similar to how I have the flower next to the... Pardon me. Next to the marimba. Because... It's really good for bass. And... But it's not great for melodies. Unless you have it, like, backing up another one. And... It's okay, it's okay with chords. If you were to put it with a chord, like with one other sound, like if you were to play two blue shells at the same time, it would be a big deal. But three or more is when it starts to sound pretty harsh. But I do like putting the blue shell in a chord alongside two mushrooms or two Mario hats because of the octaves and stuff and the depth, which is why. It does earn my usefulness, and it's in B. Next up is like, Wah Dude. I love it. First of all, I love the name. But out of the vo out of the people voice instruments, this one's one of the weaker ones. Not as weak as Soul Girl. Soul Girl has a bit of a weird purpose, but has is a bit weird. But like Soul Girl is kind of weird to use. Wah Dude is easier to use than Soul Girl but isn't as good as, say, Opera Man or the Do Re Mi person. So I am going to put it in... I'm going to put it in low C. Actually, I'll put it in a higher C. Mm, but do I think it's better than the dog? No, I do think it's better than the dog. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go here. That makes sense. It's in C. Next is the phone. The phone dialing noise is really difficult for me to use. I can never find many purposes to use the phone. Which is sad, because it sounds good and it's a nice, like, single beep. But I feel like it sounds too much like a phone to use for anything other than a phone. Unless you get- unless I was to get really creative with it. So, it's probably gonna have to also go in C. But, like, alongside the dog? Kind of C, like low C, because you have more control of it than the dog. But there's just not enough situations where the phone would be good to use. So, yeah, the phone's going in C. Next is the moon. The moon has- okay, this is gonna sound really weird. But the moon has a blues effect that I appreciate. I appreciate the sound of the moon. So, with that in mind... But oh, here's another thing with the moon, sorry, before I decide. Um, the moon has a blues effect, which I like, and it's useful in some songs. But it's only really useful for those songs, and not, but not to the extent of the fist. I would say the moon is more useful, but the fist is more satisfying to use. Oh, the moon's a weird one. Because I don't know if it deserves to be in B, but I don't know if it deserves to be in C. I'll put the... I'll put the moon... I'll put the moon next to the fist in C. Yeah, the moon and the fist are very weird because it's more satisfying to use the fist because it lacks purposes. But the moon is slightly more purposes, but it is still satisfying to get to use it because it's still a bit off out there. So yeah, I'm going to put that in C as well. Uh, oh, we're running out. Next we got the blooper. Blooper is an automatic guest here. Ah, not... Mm, actually... No, I'll put it around here. 
yeah, here. No, the, the blooper is really good. If you're doing an 8-bit instrument, chances are you're using that for the main melody. It's also good for long chords if you need it. It's okay for bass if you need it, if you need a lingering bass. It's good on top of layer- it's good for layering on top of stuff like the flute, the melodica, the violin. Sometimes the pan flute if you're creative, but I haven't done that one personally. It's just a good instrument, so I'm gonna keep that in S tier. Uh, I don't need to go further into it, it's an 8-bit instrument, meaning it has the upper hand in this kind of tier list. Alright, next. Green Dude. Um, I don't have enough information on the Green Dude to say much about it because I've only used it for one song, maybe two. And the song I used it on was was for a rubber band in a Paper Mario game. So... It at least fit the purpose of being boingy. So I think for that purpose I'm going to put it in D. But it's a Bob Soul Girl. Because it has a purpose, but it's just very awkward to use and you don't have much control of it either. Actually, I might put the phone in D as well. Yeah, the phone's going in D. Because I'm just realizing you, there's not much control with that either. Even if it is just a simple boop, it, the lower boops are weird. So, yeah, Green Dude is in D alongside the phone. Alright, next is Vibraphone. The Vibraphone, that's the one. I forgot the name. This one. Now, I have a bit of a vendetta against the Vibraphone. I have a vendetta against the Vibraphone because it's good, especially when paired with the Marimba in some scenarios. But it's off key. <laughs> Sometimes the Vibraphone is just off key for no reason. If I put it on B, it'll be a B flat sometimes. And I don't like that, plus. Depending on, like, how many times you play it, it sometimes sounds slightly different. But it is useful for some chords and some bass when you're making certain songs. So I'm gonna put it in... Now, in this, if it wasn't so useful, I would put it in D. But because I do find use in it, I'm gonna put it in... A high C. No. No, if it was going to be in D, I should put it lower. I'll put it here. It's kind of like a C minus. Alright. Last but not least, we have the star. Another really useful instrument for... Um, music boxes. If you need a high note. Stuff like that. I'm not going to put in S tier though. Because unlike the flower, where it's just like one note. The star has that kind of ling 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 ling. Like it has like a slight echo type thing. So I'm gonna say the star is A but it's like a high A because of that one small issue with it that I have. So okay. This is my tier list of WarioWare DIY instruments. <laughs>